Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to all of our new subscribers. We've had quite a few new people join us here, which is always very exciting. And in today's video, we are going to be creating a very easy and adorable sock gnome using items from the Dollar Tree. It's super simple and seriously fun to make. But before we get started, if you are new here and not yet subscribed, you can subscribe down below and be sure to turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on a new video. The first item you're going to need is a pair of socks. So I'm going to be using these Valentine's Day socks today. And this material is super stretchy, which is going to be great for a sock gnome. And this is also the ankle variety of sock. So if you pick up these size socks, you'll be able to get one gnome out of the two of them. But if you go for the longer socks, the knee high ones, that is what I have pictured here. And you can actually get two gnomes out of one pair. So I will leave that video linked down below if you wanna see how to make those. And you're also gonna need something for the beard. So I've never used this material before. This was a mop head that I found at Dollar Tree. They had a couple of different ones to choose from, but I really like the color of this one. And I've never made a mop beard before, so I was really excited to try it out. So now to get started, you're just gonna have to take one of your socks and put that to the side. That is gonna be for the hat later on. And our other sock is going to be for the body. So basically we just have to weigh down the bottom of the sock first for that body. And today I'm going to be using these poly pellets, but there are a lot of options that you have to weigh down your sock. If you're looking for something from Dollar Tree, you can try these little glass gemstones here or even some of their smaller rocks. It's just something to give it a sturdy base. I usually have these poly pellets on hand because they are my favorite thing to use for this. So I'll leave them linked down below. I just picked them up from Amazon. And now that the bottom of my sock is weighed down, I'm just going to fill it with some polyfill. So if you don't have any polyfill on hand, another great item to look for at the Dollar Tree is just some cotton balls. You just need something to fill up that body or you can even use the stuffing from an old pillow. And now I decided to fill mine up all the way to the top because I want my gnome to be pretty large. And now I just have to tie off the top of this. You can use a rubber band, an old hair tie, even some string, but I'm actually just gonna go ahead and hot glue mine clothes. The material on this sock was pretty thick, so it was easy to hot glue clothes but if you have a thinner sock it might just be easier to tie the top with a rubber band so now we have the base of our body and now we have to attach the beard so here's the mop removed from that packaging and you have a couple of options with this you could just attach the entire mop head to the top and keep everything intact and this black plastic piece on the top here will just be covered up by the hat in the end so it won't really be in the way but if you do do this I do think that the beard is just a little bit too big for this size sock. So what I'm going to do is just split mine right in half. So you can see here the mop is actually kind of split in half already. So I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and just cut off one side of the mop. I did my best to try and be pretty neat with this and keep them all in a row. And then I just made sure everything was nice and even and then just grabbed it at the top. And now I just want to bind them together. That way everything is very neat. So I'm just gonna use a rubber band for this, but again, you could just use a hair tie or even some string or twine just to make sure all of those strands are tied together. Binding them together like this is just going to make it a lot easier when we attach it to our body. And now I'm just going to be putting a lot of hot glue on the top part of our sock here and then just carefully pushing that beard into it. Now you can just place the body of the gnome to the side for a minute as well as that other sock because we are going to get started on the nose. So here I have some table tennis balls from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to need two of them for each gnome. So one of them is going to be for the hat so that one I do not need to paint but the one for the nose I do want to paint just so it's not that bright white color and I'm just going to warm it up a little bit and this is completely optional but a tip for it to make it a little bit easier to paint is you can just poke a toothpick through the bottom of it and just put it into a styrofoam base that way it just makes it a little bit easier to paint around all of those curves I just mixed some browns and oranges into my white chalk paint to achieve this color here. And once I had one coat of that on my table tennis ball, I just let it dry completely. So here it is all dry and now we get to attach it to our gnome. So I'm just going to be putting a generous amount of hot glue onto that nose and placing it where I want it in the beard. Wanted to be sure to leave some beard behind the nose as well as on the sides of the nose just to make it look a little bit more natural. 
Now you can grab that second sock that is going to be for the hat as well as the second table tennis ball. So I'm just going to be putting that table tennis ball into the sock and putting it all the way at the top where the toes go because I want this to be a little, almost like a pom-pom ball on top of the hat. It's just gonna give it a really nice shape. So to secure it in there, I'm just going to be using some of this cotton twine that I picked up at the Dollar Tree, but anything will do just to secure this, like a rubber band or some twine. So now that I have the ball at the top of my hat, I'm just going to be placing a very small amount of polyfill just to help keep the hat a little bit more upright. That way it doesn't just flop over from the weight of the table tennis ball on top. So now you can just place your sock onto the gnome, but you want to make sure that the heel portion of the sock is on the back of the gnome. So after you slide it on, you're going to want to adjust it a little bit just to get it right. And I like to basically kind of cover half the nose with the hat and then leave the bottom half peeking out. I think that looks really cute. And you might want to hot glue your hat in place. I decided not to do that here, but if your hat is slipping, you might want to secure it with some hot glue. And now I'm just giving that beard a trim. So I like to cut up the sides just to taper it up a little bit and then make sure the bottom is nice and neat and kind of give it a curve shape. So here is the beard all trimmed and now I'm gonna give him some feet. So I found this craft kit at the Dollar Tree and I thought that this heart would be perfect for some feet for our gnome. So anything will do for this. You can even get a piece of felt and just cut it into the shape of a heart or if Dollar Tree has anything else in the shape of a heart, it would work just as well. So I just put some hot glue and place it on the bottom of the gnome and it gives the appearance of two little feet peeking out. Now for the final step, we get to accessorize our gnome. So I went really simple. I just picked up this table scatter from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna hot glue one of these hearts to the top of the hat. You can really get creative. Dollar Tree has so many fun little mini accessories that would look really cute on the gnome and you can just use them to really make it your own. And here's the final result. I'm obsessed with this gnome. I think he is so adorable and just perfect for Valentine's Day. This would be a really sweet gift to somebody if you know that they love gnomes and it would be so special if they knew that you handmade it for them. I think I'm definitely gonna have to make a couple more and maybe even a little girl gnome to go with this one. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. And if you are new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing. You can subscribe to my channel by just clicking my picture right here. And be sure to check out this video for some more Valentine's Day fun.